Got it. Welcome everyone to our February team huddle. It's so weird because like, this is not like at the very beginning of the month. Like I was like thinking, I was like, wait, this is the first call, but I guess just the way that clothes fell um, here we are, but we've got so many exciting things to share. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. Um, let me do this. And Polly, while I'm doing this, can you get the specials ready for this month just so we can go over them real quickly? Yes, sorry, I forgot I was muted. I'll get them. Oh, you were? I was like, I, I see it, but okay. So y'all, we have got some new team members um, we're excited to welcome. So Pam Clark, also by Polly Brothers. That's also Phoebe's boss. So we're super excited to have her here. Um, Maria Elena is sponsored by Blanca. Um, Vicki McIntyre, sponsored by myself. Um, Selena Miller, sponsored by Caroline Skelton. And that was a surprise sponsor, right, Caroline? <laughs> and then Debbie yes, Shirley Gibson. <laughs> like we were not expecting that at all. We're like, wait a minute, she's a consultant. Um, Debbie Shirley Gibson, sponsored by Jennifer Gibson. And then Sean Sosin, is it Sosinski? Sosinski. Yeah. Sponsored by Christiana Stromaglia. So um, welcome, welcome to all of y'all. So um, we are going to be planning on doing a getting started call. Like there is that recording. Um, the recording that's up on the website right now is the ones with the reduced qualifications. And then when that goes back, that this is the last month of that. So next month, it'll go back to the normal numbers and I'll, I'll replace it with the other video that we had. So, um, okay, y'all, we've got someone to celebrate. So Carrie wave, she's the one with the adorable baby. Um, she promoted to district manager. How exciting. And um, she'll be going to Tampa. Um, so it'll be her first in-person Arbonne event. So we're super excited for her. Um, we have an area manager in qualification, Lauren Rose Wave. Super exciting. So yes, she will be in Tampa as well. So we're going to finish up her qualification. And then we've got several in qualification for district manager. So Allie Leonard, Kelly Doyle, Lori Stokes, Vicki McIntyre, Sarah Amthor, Trin Gonzalez, Caitlin Miller, Gail Harper Yielding, Danielle Nicholson, Tracy Hayes, and Allison Parker. So um, super excited. And with you all being in qualifications for district manager, you, like you still get the reduced qualifications from this month. And if it goes into a third month, um, Lauren Rose checked on this actually this week, those reduced qualifications stick like through April if you start out in the reduced qualifications. So if you're out there, and you wanna get in on the reduced qualifications, definitely qualify this month. Okay, $2,500 brick earner. So this is the building blocks of our business. Um, so again, our team can do, let's say like 150,000 in volume, but that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm selling 150,000. I'm doing my 2,500, which is my new and new volume every month. And then I'm just finding more people to build $2,500 bricks. So like, for instance, Lauren Rose, who's going in, you know, is in an area manager qualifications. Like I'm just going to use the old numbers because they're easy. Let's say she needs to hit 10,000. Does that mean Lauren Rose needs to do 10,000? <laughs> no, it means that ideally if she had three other people doing 2,500 and she did 2,500, there would be her 10. So we're building in bricks. So um, our $2,500 brick earners are myself, Polly Brothers, Lori Andrews, Lauren Rose Ousley, Lauren Robinson, Gabby Hazelhoff, Kristen Nyman, Jean Gardner, and Christine, Christiana Stromaglia. I love saying your name, by the way. <laughs> like, it's so pretty, the last name. It's so like sophisticated. Okay, and then our award achievers. So um, I left this off the Facebook thing because I forgot, I didn't realize that I, I was, I thought I was one person off from the region award, but I went back and I saw it. I had to check last month for something and I got it. So um, area award achievers, um, myself and Polly and then district award achievers, Polly and myself. And so just for those of you who know, there's like cash bonuses. There's actually one for consultants. So if you're brand new and you hit 2,500 and you have two new, two new preferred clients or consultants, basically two new 150 signups, you can get an extra $100 added to your check. Um, and then these are 
basically you think of it, if you go back to the old numbers, it's double the maintenance amount and then like five new signups at 150, you know, or 10 new signups at 150 or 30, just depending on what level you're at. Um, okay. And then, oh, that's it. So I'm going to stop the share and come back here. Okay. So Polly, I didn't get that ready beforehand. So sorry to throw you, throw that to you, but, um, I was going to just see like what the new, um, like the okay, can y'all see that or not? We did at first, but now we don't hang on. You'll see it now. It's always like this. Like, Cause I have two screens. It's like, okay. You see it now? Yes. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it or you want me to do it? Um, it doesn't matter. You want to do it? I'll do it. Month at a glance, February. Okay, so Punta Cana, you guys, this is month two for that. And the cool part about Punta Cana is you can earn points from going to these events. So if you're going to Tampa or whatever, or GTC and all the things, um, definitely. And it's free to register for Punta Cana. So everybody should register because it's amazing how quickly these these points add up. In fact, um, for the last trip, this past one, or the one that we're about to go on, um, 10,000 people earned that trip. It's crazy. Whereas the one before that was like 1,500. So these trips are like, you guys should be earning them, period. And they're so fun. Um, the free product on auto ship, if you have some people on auto ship, is that intelligence counter spot essence, which is so cool. Okay, and then this is the, the um, power to DM that we were just talking about. Um, oh no, this is different. Power to DM. Power to DM is you guys, oh my gosh, it's 3,500 this month and you're a district manager. So everybody should be taking advantage of that because you're, you know, I always tell people it, it, you're leaving money on the table if you don't just go ahead and get there because you start making that override. So a thousand it does have to be personal, meaning you and your preferred clients. So don't worry there, just do the do and you'll get there. But 3,500 um, and imagine if you had you and two doing that, you would qualify for area. So, I mean, it is really a gift. So go, go, go. Um, and then this is like Andrea said, the last month for the accelerated qualifications, um, which are 20% less. So I noticed Christiana, you had asked, what is the number to qualify for a region right now? It's 32,000. Um, and if you qualify this month, then you still can finish in two to three, two or three months. So with those accelerated qualifications, Product launches, um, let's see. Oh, just, just so y'all know, I guess everybody probably knows this already, but the Simply One is here to stay. I knew that was gonna happen, like had to happen. And then the Feel Fit Shake in the 10 packs, the coffee flavor, oh my gosh. Um, that's pretty exciting. I just ordered some of those. Yes, that, you'll be unstoppable with that. Yeah, it's so, so good. And then if y'all don't ever... Um, get on the consultant lives. These are great to get on. Um, they're, the next one coming up is March 1st. Um, and then Path to Empower that we just talked about, you guys. So it's still like you could still definitely do it um, and get there. And it is so, if y'all didn't watch last Sunday when Christiana and Levon and Mel all shared about it, it is like so empowering for your business. So definitely want to do that. Um, and then that is pretty much it. There's just some little links that y'all can go find. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so tonight, like we try and do this the first, um, like we're trying to do like a schedule basically of the, the first Sunday of the month, um, do this open mic nights where we can really like talk and like see like what's working, what's not working and that sort of thing. And it doesn't work unless you participate. So good, bad, ugly, whatever, like we wanna know it, what's working, what's not working. The second Sunday, um, we're gonna be joining with another team for um, a speaker, a guest speaker. So we might change links just depending on the Sunday. So just be looking out for that. Um, I forget what the third and fourth, but anyway, more to come. But with that to um, said, next Sunday, because of Super Bowl, um, there's not going to be a speaker. So we're trying to see if we can move that to Monday night. Um, I don't know if anyone, again, not that anyone's like Super Bowl, but like you might be at a Super Bowl party. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just to be mindful of that. L the last few years, we've actually timed it where it was right during halftime, which I know, I know that's like the part you don't want to miss, but you know, 
Um, okay, so I would love to know really like, well, I, I guess I'm gonna kick it off with a question to Christiana and Lavon. Um, I don't know if Mel is on, I can't see, um, but I wanna see um, just kind of like, you were talking about the Empower event um, that y'all went to in California. I would love to know just kind of like, were you, did it change your, the course of your week this week? You know, like, like, were you able to implement anything that you learned from it or just like, even like just your mindset or your headspace around it? So I would love to hear from y'all about that. I'll go first. Um, total mindset shift for me. Um, I, I, feel like all of the things that I'm doing are everything that I learned from all of you, like the consistency and doing my five by five and just working my business. Um, I feel like I was just kind of in a slump and being there and being in community and all of that has just like got me excited again. And so I, yeah, I needed that. And I am just like so excited and like rejuvenated and just doing all of the things. I haven't tried anything new, um, but I'm excited to um, do the Facebook messenger party that um, that was shared, not there, but through you guys. So that will be something new that I try. Yes. And for those of you who haven't heard about that yet, we, we were actually going to do like a training on this at some point, but um, basically it's like a Facebook party, but through messenger, but like, or Instagram message, but um, it's already all pre-done and everything. And just another thing to put on our website. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it will never end. It will never end. But, um, but anyway, so we are going to be sharing that with you. So if you are in my region, just be looking for me to be sending you like a training. It's, it's honestly easier for you just to listen to like the training, this girl who just kind of got it from the UK and it's, and don't anyone freak out over like, oh my God, we're doing something new. I, again, I can't stress enough. I've had these conversations this week. A lot of our system is only getting in front of 40 people a month. Like that's our system. Like that's plain you know, and simple, but how you get to that is your own choice. So you might find that doing like, when I go down to Orlando, um, Blanca and I are going to be doing these like valent like fizz and facials, like for Valentine's day, um, with people. Why? because who doesn't want to get a facial? They're going to show up, you know, but like, we're going to do the Arbonne presentation while they have like the sheet masks on and we're going to take pictures for her social media. So more people are going to want it. But like, um, so like, that's just one way, you know, you could do a Facebook party, you could do one-on-ones, you can do like coffee dates. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So again, I, I just know that a lot of times people get caught up in the, oh, we're doing this or we're doing that. Like, we are doing that, like we can do anything, but um, the only thing that we are consistent on as a group is that we're all like, if we're pushing our business forward, we're getting in front, we're sharing the Arbonne story with 40 people a month, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, Christiana, you were probably just hey also guys. like getting back from a whirlwind of being gone for forever. Yeah, and I'm about to leave again too, so. Oh um, but it's okay. Um, don't worry. You're going to hear my daughter screaming in the background. She's just really editing bedtime. I'm going to my office right now. Um, okay. So very similar to what LaVon said, like this has been probably like, this has been such a different week for me. Um, like probably the best week I've had in like six months, just wow. with mindset and like energy and all the things. And granted, like I'm also doing the 30 day right now. Um, so that's a big part of it, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that obviously like I learned, I heard a lot of really great things at Path to Empower, but now just like coming back and like organizing my thoughts and kind of prioritizing, figuring out um, what it, you know, what it looks like to kind of execute the things that we learned. And a lot of the things were not new. They were just like, I don't know. I mean, they were just kind of emphasized again, or, you know, like it, none of it was like that crazy new. Um, but yeah, just like huge, huge mindset shift. Um, I don't know if any of you guys follow Sandy and Wade, um, but 
Um, I know LaVon and I have been reading this book like with them because on their podcast, they have been going through it. So, and this is all about like the magic from when you were a child and like you lose that because as you get older, you become less like grateful. Like you practice less gratitude because that childhood magic is like disappearing kind of because we take things so seriously or, you know get wrapped up in the monotony of life. So I really just think like focusing on gratitude, like maybe that's it. Like maybe that's the main thing, but um, yeah, it's just been a huge mindset shift. I think ever since path to empower. That's awesome. And for those of you too, like who are on here new um, it's so funny because it's like, we'll do these trainings and all that sort of thing. And everything you could ever need to run your business is in this little workbook because like in there, it has like five things. Sorry, I've got my notes in here of my 30 day people, but like, you know, um, you do like the five things that you're grateful for, you know, your, um, and then like, you know, meditation, affirmation, movement, you know, all of that. Um, and then your like your list. And again, like for me, like I'm telling you my, my secret weapon in my Arbon business, my whole time has been consistency. Like. I mean, there's like nothing amazing except for how it's consistent. And I mean, and I really think it stemmed from, at first it started out with this notebook. I would always have like the, this notebook right here. I mean, if I open one of my desk doors, the one behind me, the lower one, it's full of these notebooks, like dating back from like 17 years ago. But like, I would carry these um, in my purse and um, I would just always write, just write down things I was thinking about. But like the main thing I would always do like, five things that if the like I, this is how I would always see it in my head like okay if everyone in my family got the flu this is like pre-covid when this started but like if everyone in my family got the flu you know babies and husband and everything and you know our car broke down and like you know like our house caught on fire what are the five things and, and then first it started the three things and then I moved it to five things what are the five things that I can do to push my business forward and literally it would be things like I mean now it's like the five and five we reach out I wish I would have had that then because that would have given me some structure because mine was run a sample to so-and-so call so-and-so to book a presentation because we were doing a lot of groups back then you know um do a phone call with so-and-so like it was like literally just like five things but it wasn't like you know like check in on my team or, you know, like it was like five things for my personal business that I could move forward. And so I love this book. If y'all aren't using this, or even if you use a notebook with the same stuff, but Christiana, what you said about gratitude, like that just reminded me of that because I'll be honest with you. If I didn't have that on my worksheet, (laughs) I probably the only time I'd be grateful is when I'm saying my prayers at night. I mean, like, honestly, like that's just being honest, but like this has me like you know, writing it down and like being mindful. And I mean, some days it's something like, you know, having a warm blanket, slippers, you know, (laughs) I mean, like, it's like, it can be like, I look around for the things that like I'm grateful for. And and it's like, there's, wow, there's so much, you know? So, um, so if you don't have this book, we can definitely hook you up and show you where to get it. Who else this week or this past month is struggling or is doing something that's working or has a question or would love to, cause I love like everyone just kind of like jumping in and helping everyone out. I've got some little wins to hey. share. Um, so are my AirPods working okay? Sometimes they disconnect. Yeah, perfect. All good. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I feel like I've had great rejections, if that makes sense. So I know we were kind of talking about this the other day, but I have just had some like A plus no's from people who, first of all, I mean, they're responding, right? Because so many of us are used to just people straight up not responding, but not only do they respond quickly, but it's been so kind. And I've kind of created like a little like like system of, of like procedures of like, okay, if they say no in this way, then like, what am I saying next? And how do we keep the conversation going? And a lot of it was from the training two weeks ago that Polly did about, you know, having that service mindset and um, that verbiage that's on our board of, um, of, actually, I'll just read you one of the conversations and just how, let's see. 
okay, so this guy, he and I were camp counselors together at summer day camp five years ago. And so I, you know, it was January. We're all doing the 30 day reach out. Hey, Chris, hope you're doing well, homie. I was wondering, and now to go back, these were people that I noticed were watching my stories on Facebook and Instagram. And maybe that's why I'm getting such a positive response, at, you know, just because they're already people who are kind of like seeing my life, watching what's going on. They're liking my posts. So like, it's like in the back of their mind, right? And you always feel like a little connected to people you see on social media more often. You know, it's like, oh, I know your life, but I don't know your life. So Hey, Chris, hope you're doing well, homie. I was wondering if anyone has ever taken the time to tell you about Arbonne's 30-Day Healthy Living Challenge. Our next group starts Monday, January 31st, so I wanted to reach out because I'm sure you're going to be obsessed with this. It's all about resetting and revamping. You get recipes, shopping lists, meal plans, private accountability groups. If I send you a little information, would you check it out? 10 minutes later. Hey, Lauren Rose, I hope you're doing really, really well as well. Thank you so much for reaching out. I've been following your journey, and this sounds incredible. However, at this time, I'm not interested. Maybe sometime in the near future. I appreciate you greatly for checking in. I wish you continued success and happiness. I said, you are so kind. Thank you so much for your support. Everything has been great. My husband and I are very blessed. And absolutely, I do think you'd really love it. So whenever you're ready, I'm here for you. In the meantime, even though you're not interested in the challenge, is there anyone you know who might be struggling with low energy, extra weight, or gut health issues? Could you think of someone who may be interested in making a lifestyle change? He said, no one comes to mind at the moment, but I'll be sure to send them your way if slash when that arises. I said, you're so awesome. I really appreciate that. Hey, I'm wondering, do you have any goals that you're trying to reach with your nutrition or health this year? I would love to just cheer you on along the way. He said, oh, thanks. That means a lot. Truthfully, I'm actually really happy with where I am and with my health and nutrition. I made some changes last year and I'm loving the results. Remembering that food is fuel and to stay committed to fitness. I said, Chris, that is so good. How amazing to hear. So, so happy for you. What have you been up to life slash work wise? And then to not continue to just read everything, but he talked a little bit about his job right now, about business, because now I want him as a business builder because he just seems so, I mean, he's great to talk to. He's so intentional in his words and he's clearly in the middle of a health journey himself. And so we go on to talk. Uh, we have a call scheduled for the end of the month. It's just because he's like, you know, time, everything like that. And so just continuing the conversation after they say no to the sale, you know, realizing that A, they're not saying no to you, but like show them, prove to them that you're not just in it to get their order, that you genuinely care. And I mean, it's up to you. Do you genuinely care about the people you're reaching out to? Like, how are you reaching out to them? How are, how, what are the words you're saying to them? Is it genuine to who you are? Are you really there to help them? Um, and so I just feel really blessed that in that aspect of reaching out, it has been great. And, and listen, no one's joined my team out of that yet, but my responses are at a higher percentage rate than in the last four and a half years of my business. I mean, I'm out of my five in five, like my five reach outs, five follow-ups. I think I'm only having one person not respond a day. Wow. So on the other side, my phone's blowing up. So I'm like trying to keep up with all these conversations, you know? And so I've been trying to like keep notes alongside. So I just encourage you guys to, like Polly said, and how Polly and Andrea always teach us, come from that service mindset and be willing to continue the conversation with someone as if you're with them in person. If you were like to be with them in a coffee shop and you're like, hey, you know, Arma on this, like, would you be interested? I'm like, no, I'm good. Like you wouldn't just get up and leave. Like you wouldn't just like... <laughs> First of all, respond. Like it is our job to respond to the no and not like, yes, of course, in a positive way, but don't just ghost them now that they said no. Respond and continue the conversation. Finish your cup of coffee with them. You don't have to talk to them every day for the next month, but treat them like a human and how you would want to be treated. So no, that is such really a good example, too. You're right. You wouldn't get up in a coffee shop and just be like, next <laughs> you know that is so true good example anyone else we've got some a little bit of time left wins struggles advice come on don't be shy if no one else is gonna go i'm just curious have this is like crazy right have all of you done the 30 day recently? Yes. 
Yes. Like, like everyone, I mean, as I'm just curious because I don't know. I don't know if there's ever been one time that I like haven't cheated. Like, I mean, I love coffee, but I just want to strongly encourage you guys like to do it for real without cheating. Um, cause it's awesome. And I don't know who says this, but like, I've heard someone say, you know, if you really want to see your business take off, like just do the 30 day for 90 days. Um, so I'm just here to say that like, if you haven't done it, or if you're one of those people that's like, I can't give up coffee or whatever, like you got to do it. <laughs> yes, for sure. I mean, because like, you'll be so excited and people are going to be like, what are you doing? You know? I mean, it's so true. And then the other thing is what I've noticed, this is the first time, I mean, I was one of those people who signed up people to do the 30 day, plug them in the group and was like next to me. Like, I mean, on the plus side, I was signing up so many people, but on the downside, I wasn't like really getting a relationship with these people, you know, like they were ordering product afterwards, but they didn't like, I don't know. It's just so different. So like I was in that thing where Polly was like texting me, like I would say, like, it was so funny because it'd be like, Hey, Andrea, today is, and I'm like, why is Polly saying this? And I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm in that group. It's like, you know, I'd see this from like, we talked 20,000 times a day and then like we would have just hung up but it would say like you know hey Andrea you're on day 26 <laughs> but um so a couple of times it threw me <laughs> off but um it takes me a little longer guys but um but anyway that's been so helpful because like I mean the relationships I'm building with these people that are doing the 30 day has been incredible and then I just want to share one I posted one today and then I just got another one while we were on the phone, but, um, one today said, so, okay, this is just a funny story. So the guy who sold me, so I'm on my sixth Mercedes now with Arbon. the guy who sold me Mercedes for the past 16 years, um, has never used Arbon. Now, why would you not use Arbon if I'm your client because of Arbon and I'm, because believe me, I wouldn't be buying a Mercedes if not, like I have kids and like, <laughs> you know, so um, anyway, I, we sat down, we did the presentation with a 30 day, he and his girlfriend um, did it together. And um, I get this from her. Well, so he, he also, when I'm calling shopping for a car, cause I just got another one. Um, he always, would be hard to like return my phone calls. Like he's super, super busy. He's like their top sales guy. But um, he is calling me now saying like, you know, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I feel so incredible. Like you got me, I am sold. I am hooked on this. Okay. So his girlfriend today texts me and says, speaking for myself here, here, Andrea, but I've decided to make this my new way of life. I placed an order online that should last 60 days. Pretty good order. I'll tweak it as necessary. I know for certain that I will not get into the coffee addiction again. Thank you for this life change. I mean, like, how awesome is that, you know? And it's like, I mean, I'm so glad because like, I wanted to coach him perfectly because I mean, I just like really respect him anyway. Like he just has like a really good work ethic. He's just really, I I mean, I just like him, you know? And I wanted him to be impressed with this because it's like, I had been trying, I mean, for 16 years, y'all, that is a long time, you know? I mean, we all talk about people we've been talking to for two weeks, okay, 16 years. So he finally does it. But like, he's so sold on it and he's like a health guy, like a workout guy. I mean, I'm just, and and I really think so much of it was having that relationship of like answering questions, but like also having something to say, because like a lot of times I'll be like, Ooh, I need to check in with my 30 day -er." but like all this stuff is going to be in our boards. It's not already, is it Polly? It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's in boards already. I've just been following Polly's text to me. Like I wish you could say it all the time. (laughs) It's hard to find right now, but our next, um, Andrew and I's next project is to work on boards to make it a little easier. But if you go into our boards, success and simplicity and into getting into activity, and then you're going to go to resources for activity Mm -hmm. and then 30 day, and then you're going to see text to prospects and then coaching text down there. Mm -hmm. And so it's all the the coaching text. Um, look, there's a whole, it's by the day. Day one, day two, day three. So so what I'm going to do this next go around that starts tomorrow, I'm going to put them in here, like as my things to do, like my three non-negotiables. Like if it says like text, you know, um, 30 day or 
you know, like it's day seven or whatever, text 30 day or about whatever, just so like it prompts me to be like, oh, today's a day to text. Cause you're not texting every day, but um, I just don't want to miss out. I want to go ahead and get in that habit. Cause y'all, it was huge. I mean, like huge for the relationship, but huge for referrals, huge for reorder. I mean, like huge, you know, you yeah. can build your business just doing that. And then you, should- you have, I'm sorry, you, go ahead, Blanca. No, sorry. No, I usually do a call and they love it. They love it because they can tell me exactly how they're feeling and they like because they said, oh, you are so nice. I thought you're just trying to sell me. <laughs> they said that to me. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I just feel important, you know, and like, uh, because they're important for me because I wanted to see the results and see that they are enjoying it. But so far, for example, Maria Elena, she bought it the 30 days um, in November. And then she says, oh, Blanca, my birthday is coming and I want to drink a lot. And I, I let me, let me still, you know, put my mind in that, in this process. Said, That's okay. But then comes, you know, December and then she excused herself no 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 it's holidays and and no I want to postpone this for the next year so I called her out and said listen you gotta do this and stop doing excuses okay you, I want to say that I said you have to put your ass in <laughs> and she says, oh my god I said yes stop bullshitting around so you gotta but she did it and now she feels awesome she feels super awesome and she I mean said I, I love it and I said I, I the hardest part I thought it was the coffee but I I don't I don't miss the coffee she was so scared that the coffee is going to just be the cheatest part you know in the 30 days that she's going through I mean she's she's going to be in the second week <laughs> that's yeah. amazing that's so that's yeah. so awesome. And y'all, if you need those texts on boards, Blanca, where you can yeah. be texting them by the day. Okay. Cause there's also, if you look in the source, there's mm-hmm. um, a tracker. Actually, that's what this is in my thing. Yeah. Um, and it goes exactly to the tracker. Like it's a tracker. So you can put everyone that in here that you're coaching and then you like, just check it off as you go. Like I keep this in my track, my 90 day tracker right now, but I need to figure out a way where I'm seeing it all the time. But um, it, uh, I can't, I mean, I, you know, Polly and I went to this training in Nashville a couple of years ago. And do you remember there was um, someone's mom, it was that girl from Mississippi, her mom, who's an RVP. And yeah. um, she was saying like, it changed her business. Yeah. Um, coaching. Like, coaching people, you know, like really calling them. Like, and I have been doing that. Like when it says, I just sent mine out that said to one of my groups that said, um, you know, do you have time to talk in the next day or whatever? And they get back to me and I'm like, okay. And I set up that phone call, like Blanca said, you know, calling and, and, you know, I, I have been doing the call with them, the unboxing call, which is so important. And then I ask them the next day, and this might not be exactly in the text, but I make sure to ask them, you know, what did you put in your morning shake? Like, tell me what you put in there so that, you know, and one lady had totally missed her gut health, you know, and the whole, but, um, but one thing too, real quick is just, if you, even if you just have a few clients, like I was thinking, uh, you know, not to throw one more thing, but you know, if you're using reach at all, and if you're not no big deal, you might just have one or two clients. It might not be a big deal at all. But for me, even if I had, like, I just put my different groups in reach as a group. So, um, that way, if I'm like, I, I don't get confused, like, oh, this is January 10th start. This is January, whatever start. This is February 7th start. And then I can go to like January 17th start are these four people. My, mm-hmm. One of them is Andrea. So three people, <laughs> but then I'm able to just send that message from boards directly to those people. And I'm not confused, but that's only like, if you start getting a lot, then maybe look mm-hmm. at that. If Which not, you no will, if you do it this way, you will get a lot. Trust me. Yeah. Like they're going to start referring you people. Yeah. I mean, I already got from the January, from the first group we did in January, I think I got three referrals already. And then today I had a girl that say, that said yes to posting, you know, like it's really, it's, I don't know. It, it's really been good. It's really been awesome. So hopefully it's helpful. You guys. Yes. Thank okay. You. So next Sunday, let me just ask, does everyone have plans for the Super Bowl? No, 
<laughs> I know you don't Blanca. <laughs> no, I just have to like, just tell you like Blanca has been through the ringer. She had COVID um, in December, which was really bad. She was vaccinated, but she got it. She had it really bad. And um, she, um, gosh, she had it for like two weeks, I think like just sick, sick, sick. Yeah. But now she's got like some lung damage from her, from, from having it. So like, she's just been like, just oh, dealing with it. So, but you're getting better. Okay. You're following what the doctor says. So definitely. So, yeah. So we got to get her good for Tampa. But Blanca, not what, what okay. kind of lung damage is that? Well, the thing is, I, I didn't want to be in this call to be honest, but <laughs> Andrea helped me to be here because I'm super down, you know, being a very active people, I'm in mean, person. And uh, I just started, you know, coughing, coughing a lot last past week. And then off and a sudden I lost all my voice and I just was not, didn't have any energy and my, my lungs start burning and, and hurting me like uh, so bad. So Friday, I decided to go to the doctor because I said, you know, this is, this is not me. I mean, this is something wrong. And I thought at the beginning I got COVID again, but then it was such a weird symptoms. But anyway, so the doctor said that, yeah, it's, it's a result of COVID. And definitely I got a Delta virus because Delta is the one who affected mostly the land. And uh, I have basically, they did an X-ray and she saw I have some water in my lungs and kind of, is it this heart issue? Heart issue, yeah. But then also for when the lungs, the lungs are weak, it can cause you also asthma flare. And also, also I have an asthma flare and also have an ear infection. That's what I was getting dizzy. And I was having nauseous in the morning. And I swear God, I'm single. Otherwise, I would have said, I'm, I'm pregnant. I mean, <laughs> because, I mean, this is funny, but it, I was so worried. That it's exactly like it when you're in the first semester pregnant. DC and you want to, uh, no, nauseous, no vomiting. You know, in the morning, like, whoa, what is this? So she said it's part of all the mucus that I have, you know, in my ears, in my chest, and in my lungs. So I have steroids, um, I have inhaler, I have very powerful um, allergy medication and antibiotics for 10 days. So now if I don't feel well in 10 days, I got to be into the specialist for a different um, treatment. But of course, for a month, I cannot do any workout. So that's gonna, it's put me really down, you know? And um, even, I don't know how much, I mean, uh, strength I wanna have to train my clients, but um, let's see how it goes. But I, especially I cannot do any, any cardio because as she said, uh, I can have a heart attack since my heart is also, is the rhythm of my heart is also super high. Like uh, I can be sitting and I have my, my Apple watch Sometimes I'm sitting at 112, 150, goes boom, 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 boom. If I go my upstairs, it's like I'm running and I'm barely walking, you know, like an old lady. So yeah, it's, it's very critical, but, um, but I'm a healthy person. So I feel like this is just a bad, bad season, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. glad I'm in this call because you make me smile again. So I told her, I said, you need to be on this call to get lifted up. Like just if any, like not even for your Arvon business, just for like community and be lifted up. I was crying when. Uh, oh, let's <laughs> give her a virtual hug, everybody. Like big hug. Mm -hmm. Love you. Blanca. So Thank you. Yes. You'll, you'll get through this. Yeah. I Aww. So give you a real hug in Tampa. Yes, definitely. And I'll be seeing her in like a little over a week. So yeah. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, everyone, thank you so much for hopping on the call tonight. And then, so I guess next Sunday, we'll, do y'all want to just move it to that Monday? Does that sound good? 
that Monday yeah, night? We can do that. Um, and Monday get... is Valentine's Day. Oh, thanks, Lauren Rose. <laughs> oh, Monday is Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, the Monday after the Super Bowl. Is then the 14th. Yeah, I know the NFL uh, should not have done that this year, but they did. Dang, Disney. that's my favorite. That's my favorite holiday. Well, wait a minute. Oh, it is. You're right. We don't. Okay, do so it. you're okay. No, no, no. Okay, I say we do it on the night of the Super Bowl. If you show up, you show up. If you don't, you know. That's good for me. Yeah, I'd rather. I mean, heck no. I'm celebrating Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> my hubby will be gone. Wait, yeah, he'll be gone. But to well, the Super Bowl also starts at like seven. So you're not going to miss that much of the actual Super Bowl to begin with. Right. Well, what as long as you make some chili, can you we know, do you got a good dinner. Yeah. Or can we do earlier? We could do earlier if y'all want to. Does that work? <laughs> Maybe or do a, a poll on the Facebook page, you know, where people can like choose like yeah. two time polls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> hey, Lauren, Lauren Rose, you be in charge of the poll. Perfect. And then just tell us what time. <laughs> the decider. Awesome. All right. We'll be looking for that and we'll, we'll make it all work because we can. <laughs> all right. Y'all have a great week. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.